believe the professor lectured for an hour about one slide. I felt like I was going to die from boredom. Ugh, I just kept checking the time. Literally, I mean, literally no one was taking notes. Oh, what'd you write? Oh, yeah, drawing the diagram was a smart move, but at least class wasn't completely boring. What do you mean, what do I mean? I got my first ever candygram. I can't believe our school still actually does these, but hey, I'm not complaining. Too bad the gram doesn't say who it's actually from, though. Mm. Anyway, uh, here. I got these mini chocolate cakes from the supermarket across the street. I bought five, so take as many as you want. For real, they're making my backpack super bulky, but, uh, fair warning, they might be melting. Ugh, yes, they make me bloated, but you just gotta live a little. Valentine's Day only comes around once a year. Well, yeah, of course I want to know who sent me my first ever candy gram. Like, look at it. It's got such a cute bow and good quality candy, but if anything, maybe it was sent to me by accident. I don't really care who it's from. Well, unless it's from the person who I hope it was from. You're saying you want to know who I hope sent it in case they really were the one who sent it and my hopes and dreams come true? Nah, can't tell you. But, hey, no! You'll tease the hell out of me! Wait, what? No! I do not have a crush on a professor, and it'd be super weird if they sent me a gram in the first place. Besides, you're the only one who actually had a crush on a professor. Really? That maybe was a nightmare I had. I was actually so worried you'd run off and leave me behind. For a professor, of all people! I mean, I was worried just because we're good friends and all. We're good friends and all. Friends and all. Friends and all. Friends and all. Hello? Um, you good? Did... Did I say something weird, or are you just upset that I'm not telling you who my crush is, even though we're besties? Yeah, yeah, roll your eyes all you like, but I'll call you anything, my bro, home slice, homie, fam, buddy, pal, the one who shares all my brain cells. I'll even call you my valentine, so we at least both have one. But, um, honestly, I'm surprised you're still not dating anyone. <laughs> oh, come on, you know why. You're really sweet and fun to hang out with. I feel like I actually connect with you and we just get each other. It's almost freaky how you understand all my references and whenever you say the lyrics of a song, it's like our minds connect via Bluetooth. And we have the same song stuck in our heads, which is really cruel by the way, because then I have to suffer along with you. Maybe I should buy you a Valentine's card and write down what's great about you. So whenever you're down, you can read it and cheer up. How did I not notice that? And what's it doing being buried under all the candy? Damn, this paper's full of like a million times. Ooh, maybe it'll say who sent it. Ah, there we go. Oh, it's a letter. Hmm, but still no name. Um, let's sit on the bench over here and I can read it out loud. Uh, what's so wrong about reading it out loud? I'm sure it'll be super sweet. Now sit already. There we go. And uh, if it makes you feel better, I'll only read out the important bits. Alright, um... It's like we share the same brain cells, and I can always be myself around you. I don't care about how loud or cringy we are in public when I'm with you. You're insanely sweet and deserve the world. Knowing you, let me make this clear. Oh, um, <laughs> oh, uh, oh, wow, them, uh, uh, they, they, they said that they loved me, um, I, I, I never thought someone would say that they, um, admire me, <laughs> um, I, I'm just, uh, me, <laughs> you're really saying that's admirable on its own? <sighs> You really are too sweet. Hmm. I'm getting the feeling you know who this is from. Nah. -uh. Don't turn it on me. I told you, I'm not telling you who I hope it's from. But it looks like I'm right. You do know who it's from.
Yeah, yeah, call me clueless all you'd like, but it'll only force you to tell me directly. <laughs> You're kidding. You're not? Fine. You're on. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Damn it, fine. You wanna know who I hope it's from? Here it goes. <gasps> I'm hoping it's from you. <clears throat> what? Oh, um, I, I said... I'm hoping it's from you. <clears throat> but, uh, I said I hope it's from you. I, I just, well... Uh... <laughs> it's, it's amazing hearing you say that instead of me just reading it. I love you too, uh, and I admire you too. <laughs> I mean, you're my best friend for crying out loud, and now even more? <laughs> but you went all that way to give me a sappy little card and candy, and you even said I love you first too. I'm honored. Oh, and now you're getting all flustered. Well, now I can say what's always been on my mind. I love your teasing, the way you roll your eyes at me, and your oh-so-cute laugh. Oh no, there's no way I'm stopping. However, you could always shut me up with a kiss. If you aren't too shy to do so, of course. <laughs> What's your plan exactly if I do come back to your apartment? I mean, there's more privacy and all, of course. I want our first kiss to be special, so... Ooh, hell yeah. You've always been recommending that anime to me. Uh, but, uh... I... <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist. Always found your forehead just so kissable. Well, since we're done with classes for the rest of the day, shall we go and gorge on these mini chocolate cakes, my valentine? Mm -hmm.